Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be setting up the, uh, the headspace on the Savage Model 11 and um, it's going to be probably pretty short as it's not hard to do. So I've got a few things here that you're going to need if you're doing this at home. And uh, additionally, uh, several people over the past roughly two years have asked if I would test out one of these test long borescopes here. So all I need, because I'm going to run this on my laptop, is just the connector and the boroscope here. This does have a couple of mirror attachments so you can really get in there and look at the lands and grooves. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, especially for the price. I'll link this below if you're interested in picking one of these up, but they, they are actually pretty cool. Um, you can actually see quite a bit with this and you'll see that here in just a minute. Uh, when you order this, it does come with some other stuff here. Uh, different contraptions that you can Wi-Fi it and a bunch of other stuff. I don't personally use this. I got a laptop sitting right here on the table. I just use it with that. So in the past, um, I have used the Endo Snake, which these are these are cool, but you don't get that that 90 degree mirror image down into the lands and grooves. Um, but this this is a, a this is a decent unit also. I will say to get down into those lands and grooves and really see what's going on, um, you know, gas ports and stuff like that in like a, like an AR style. Um, this one here, the test long will definitely do a better job. So we're, we're just, really what I want to do is just get down there and see this barrel. This is obviously it's brand new, it's never been fired. I just want to see, you know, what it really looks like inside this new barrel. And I also want to check the, uh, the crowning, make sure the crown looks really good uh, from the inside coming out. So let me set this down here. All right, okay, so here's what you're going to need. You need a torque wrench that'll go up to 40 foot-pounds of torque. You will need an action wrench that will fit the Savage. Right here, I've, I've got it sitting on the action now. It's not, uh, I don't have it tightened yet, but we'll tighten that up here in a minute. That particular wrench takes a 10 millimeter, so need a way to tighten the bolt down on that. You need a go gauge. Uh, you do not have to have a no-go gauge. I do not have one. I don't have a no-go gauge for pretty much anything that I've got reamers for. But uh, if you're going to use just the go gauge, you need some scotch tape. That, putting a piece of scotch tape over the back of this, is going to create a no-go gauge for a lot less money. So, and it's also a little bit uh, tighter as far as tolerances go. The scotch tape typically on average uh, measures about one and a half thousandths of an inch in thickness. So you're, you're really setting this thing up for just a really good tight tolerance. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the, um, at the boroscope, see what that rifling looks like and, and kind of go from there. Get that headspace set up right after that. Okay, so all right, you can see the inside of this really nice sharp uh, transition from the lands to the grooves there. You can pick up. Ah, there's a little piece of fuzz right there from uh, me running a patch through it. Um, this thing also, you can adjust the lighting in there, making it brighter, darker, whatever you want to do, just to give you the image that you're looking for. But let's come down to the end here and just take a quick look at the, the crowning on this here. Real nice clean break, little fuzz right there. That's not a big deal. But uh, really happy with, uh, with the edge there on that when I crowned this muzzle here. Little bit of, uh, I'm not sure what that is right there. Huh, interesting. Not quite sure what that is. Maybe some tooling marks. Maybe an area where some polish didn't get into. I'm not, not real sure. But uh, either way, uh, the barrel actually looks pretty good. I'm going to guess those little, uh, those really, and those are tiny, tiny little pitted areas. Probably just some leftover uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's uh, actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'll be the first to admit I have seen better, but uh, but it's not. It, I've also seen worse. So for on new barrels, so this isn't bad at all. I uh, forgot to mention you'll need the uh, the barrel nut wrench also for this. 
So we'll slide that back on there. I've got my torque wrench. I set my torque wrench is set at uh, 40 foot pounds. Now there is going to be some additional advantage on this because it's not centered with the barrel here. Yeah, I could do the math on it, but it'll probably come out right around 43 to 45 foot pounds of torque, which is fine. That's nothing wrong with that. So I've got my go gauge. Um, whatever you do, don't drop this thing. Uh, if you do, you might as well throw it away. So just be mindful of that. So I did upgrade the lug here. So I'm going to sit that on there and then I'm going to get this action started. I don't have this wrench tightened down yet. We'll get we'll get there here in just a minute, but first I'm I'm just going to get this thing spun on here. Let's stop it right there for a second. Now, I'm going to take my go gauge and put it up in the chamber there. Take my bolt and I'm just going to start spinning this down to where it stops, which is right there. Stops right there. Now, I can tighten this down so I can hold that action where I want it. Right there. Now I'm just going to start turning this nut back toward the action here. I'm not going to tighten it yet. I'm just going to just going to snug it right there. Now I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape put on the head of this go gauge. Take a razor blade or a pocket knife and trim the excess off around the head. Don't leave any hanging over or anything. Okay, so now I've got my tape on there. I'm going to shove this back up in there and that bolt should not close. Now I'm going to take my little piece of tape back off of here. Maybe. There it is. Come on. There we go. Okay, took my little trim piece of tape back off of there. Now I'm going to put this back in here and it should close. And we're good to go there. Okay. Now we just need to torque this down. So for that, I'm going to put my torque wrench on here. And there is the torque. Now let's double check the headspace. Okay, good to go there. Take a fresh piece of tape, put a fresh piece of tape on here. Let's trim this off. this back in here will not close. Double check with the, with the tape off. Closes just fine. Headspace is set. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That was pretty easy. Uh, Savage is really easy to set the headspace up on so I'm torquing this I torqued this to approximately 45 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I've torqued them at 35, I've torqued them at 50. Uh, you know, setting the torque wrench at 40 works just fine for me. I have never got a, a torque spec from Savage, and I've asked. So, um, everything I've read, uh, it looks like that we're right around that 40-ish mark, but uh, don't take my word for it. Do your own homework. 
Um, I've never had a problem. Maybe I've just been lucky. But uh, the other thing I should have mentioned when I was setting this is here on the uh, on the recoil lug, you do have the indicator in here, or the little the little pin, not indicator, but the little pin sitting right there. Uh, that does need to line up with the recess and the action. So I was keeping an eye on that. I just didn't say it when I was doing it. So I just want to let you know that don't start torquing stuff down and then have that thing misaligned and then you put a big dent or a big wall up in the action there. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be cool. So, all right. Um, next week we will be grinding out the stock and bedding this thing, getting the trigger assembly all back in. We'll get the scope on it. Uh, probably got a, another couple videos um, on just finishing this thing up and then we're out to the range doing some load development. So it's coming right along. Um, but uh, we, you know, we're getting there. It's been, been a fun little project. So, and it's not taken actually that long to do. So anyways, I guess that's, uh, that's all I got today, folks. So thanks for watching. We'll see you here next week.